Hello everybody. Uh, today's video is going to be a little bit different. Uh, I'm not going to be whispering or soft speaking in this one. I'm just going to be kind of chatting. So I hope that's all right. I know some people still get ASMR from it if I'm just doing like deliberate things anyway. So hopefully you'll still be able to relax or kind of like just have this in the background and chill out. Uh, what I'm doing today is showing you kind of progress on a cosplay I'm working on at the minute. You can probably hear Sparky in the background as well, he's asleep. Just poke him a bit so he wakes up. <laughs> so sorry if you can hear him snoring. Uh, so the cosplay I'm working on at the moment is... can you see him? What was he doing? It's Tokoyami Fumikage from uh, Boku no Hero Academia. That sounded like a probably speak Japanese. But that's just his name and the name of the program. Uh, and he is basically this cute little adorable creature with a bird head. Um, and I'm going to be cosplaying him in his hero outfit. So it's just like a black cape. So that bit's dead easy. But I wanted to kind of show you how I did it from scratch, even though I'm halfway through. Uh, just because there's no like, like, when you look for cosplay videos on YouTube, it's always like people who've done it before and they're assuming you've done it before and they're assuming you know where to buy all this stuff and that it just kind of is like at hand. So I wanted to do one where it's like, for the very beginning because even though I've done like what 15 cosplays or something now I'm still the total beginner when it comes to like making things from foam and using glues and things so my kind of way that I make cosplays is if I like the character I'll do it it doesn't matter like if it looks complicated or not because I'll figure out a dead easy way to make it so that's my take on cosplayers. So the first thing I did was the kind of base for the head. You can probably see this in the background. This is called EVA foam. Now if you're in the UK, I bought this from b and It comes in packs of eight pieces. And it's called like floor foam or something and it was just like on an end of the section. It didn't have like a special bit or anything. So it comes in these big sheets. Um, one side is... I don't know what you'd call that. It's like, it looks like metal. Like one side is textured. And then the other side's just smooth. And you can get it in different colours as well because I think it's meant for like kids playrooms or like martial arts people and things or just to kneel on if you're like a builder of some description. So I started off with a piece of this and I drew out two kind of halves of his head. So it was like this piece and this piece and they were flat. I didn't record it because I just end up starting it and like get really involved. And then I have a heat gun, which I also got from B and Q, and I think it's called like a paint stripper gun or something. Because I asked a lady who was there, and she was like, "No, we don't sell those." And then I was like, "There it is, on your shelf." Uh, so what I did was heat the flat pieces of foam, and then just gently bend it. I just did it with my hands. You're probably supposed to use some sort of heat resistant tool because it was hot but I just kind of bent it into the right shape with my hands and this is all just cut using a, um, a razor like a I think it's called like a craft knife I just bought it from like an art shop I think I might have got it from the works and then cut the eyes out where I wanted it to be that is a look I look like cheapskate Batman and then I added this craft foam, which is just like foam you find in hobby craft and like kids craft foam, you know what I mean? You make like masks and all sorts out of it. And then I've got a hot glue gun. So I glued 
down the middle here and then I glued this in here this is just like like look at the state of it in there it's just kind of temporary just to make sure it fits on my head <laughs> what an absolute look queen no <laughs> then I did the same for the beak I cut out two flat pieces in this kind of shape so like a flat beak and then bent them so that they were super bent and glued them together using the glue gun and also I used the kind of flat non-textured side so that it's easy to paint over and stuff and it doesn't have these weird marks on it and then I covered the beak in yellow craft foam so that's just kitty's foam I just glue gun to it so that is going to fit in there like that now I'm not fully sure of how it's going to go from here. Uh, I think that needs to be cut shorter because that looks like he has a huge beak when in fact it's only like about that small. So I'll cut like this once I'm at that stage. I also have to figure out what I'm doing with all this business of my actual face. So it's going to be like beakness. Look how cute. <laughs> that is an absolute look. So I think I'm going to just put more black foam here. I do have a bit cut out. Just going to leave this on for the whole video. I do have bits cut out that are just like flat bits. So imagine my beaks on properly. And then these bits will just be like this. Covering my ears and my face. So I won't be able to see or hear or speak to anyone. So th this is a great idea. So that's where I'm at so far with that bit. Oh, it's making me cross-eyed. I'll probably get like a migraine by the end of the day wearing it. And then I'm going to buy some white mesh to go inside like this. Uh, so that I can see out still, but that it still looks like that's his whole eye. And I'm going to use a bit of red craft foam for like the pupils. So that will be that. <laughs> and if you're not sure about um, sizes and things, you can even buy templates for cosplay masks and stuff. And there is a Tokoyami one on um, Etsy. You can literally buy it and it like shows you how to cut it out. It's very complicated though, which is why I opted to do my own. But if you think you can handle that kind of thing go for it that's probably easier now because I'm extra and annoying <laughs> I also wanted to have dark shadow uh, which is his quirk which is like their power in the show and the manga so this kind of can you see like this black mass comes out of him and it's the same kind of shape as his head and it's got arms and stuff but I'm not doing arms I'm just gonna have it coming out of me with like the head so for that I bought some chicken wire also from Bean q um, now what I will say is when you're using this wet like gardening gloves because I didn't and my hands were literally pouring blood <laughs> by the end of it <laughs> like they were just dripping and I was like why is my handle of my pliers so red and I was like oh it's my body's blood uh, so what I did is I used it to mold the shape because it's quite easy to mold it's not like hard or anything it's just sharp on the edges <laughs> so my hands are cut to shreds and then I molded it into the shape of dark shadow look at its mouth So I kind of did the head shape and then the like neck swooping down and then I used just a paper mache technique so you just rip up bits of newspaper, glue where you're going to stick it, 
stick it on and then glue over the top but I wanted it to be quite sturdy so instead of just PVA glue which you could use if you want to do like five layers or something I used this which is called Mod Podge it's got like French words underneath water-based sealer glue and finish so you can use it over the top of paint to like make it waterproof um, and seal things it's quite expensive like this tub's gonna last us a while but it took it was 18 pound um, and it's just like goopy it looks like PVA glue and it's non-toxic and it stinks <laughs> Uh, so yeah, apply with a brush or sponge and you can do it over and over and sand it and things and make it end up looking super pretty. You can make surfaces look like plastic and all sorts, but I haven't mastered that. <laughs> I haven't even bothered trying that. So I basically just did a paper mache technique with that. And then I got dark shadow. It's a little cute. And that's nice and nice. So now I'm going to paint him and he's going to be attached like this somehow. I'm going to end up killing somebody when I'm at the comic con. I'm just like, yes, and knock somebody out. But he's somehow going to be attached to me here. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. He's meant to come out your chest, but that's not happening. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint. I say him. I don't know if it's a him or a her or a they or an it. It's just a shadow entity. So I'm going to paint it. She says it again for the fifth time. And then add a couple more layers of Mod Podge so it's super sturdy and like waterproof. And I said I was annoyingly extra before. I've ordered some LED strip lighting. Um, it's the same I used for my Connor cosplay, well, female Connor cosplay, for my um, Detroit Become Human video. And I'm going to make his eyes glow. <laughs> mm. So yeah, oops, back he is lying on my foot. So what I'm going to paint him with, I'm just going to keep calling him, I'm sorry. Because it's meant to be like a part of Tokoyami's self. And he's a boy, so I'm gonna be using acrylic paint. It's gone really dark. I'm just using natural daylight and my crappy <laughs> normal living room light. So it's just acrylic paint. I was tapping, I can't help it. Sorry. Acrylic paint. So I've got this white and black. Now, he's kind of, oh, did I show my picture? Genius. Kind of like bluey black. Um, so I'm gonna do him kind of, oh, I've also got these two little blues as well. I'm gonna be doing like a, a dark bluish grayish color and then adding some highlights and things with a sponge. So I'm gonna be using a brush first of all. So I'm going to change the angle for doing this, otherwise I'll just get it all over myself. <laughs> so I'm going to pop some black paint into, oh my god, there's so much came out, okay, into there. And then a bit of blue, if there's any blue left, which there isn't. <laughs> Maybe this one has some left. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Bit of blue. I have any white black. 
I don't I don't think I have any white left, so screw that. It has to be dark right inside his mouth, so I'm just gonna do that black. Right in here. <laughs> Looks like I'm gonna choke. what he looks like. Mm, so he is kind of more blue than grey. So I'm gonna get a load of this blue and just add a little bit of black. So the great thing about that Mod Podge is that you can actually paint over the top of it. So it's a lot of like glues and sealants you can't because they've got like silicon and stuff in. But that you actually can, so that's good. it's such a dark colour I don't think I'll need um, to what was I going to say oh, to do more than one coat to cover the newspaper probably going to have to get some more blue at some point as well so I can be quiet Too dark or anything, it always go over the top. It's like a lighter colour.
think it'll also help um, make it like sturdier and more waterproof. So. And because it's a shadow, it doesn't make matter if some bits are a bit lighter or darker than the rest of it. Because it would be all different shades. I think dark shadow's really cute as well. <laughs> like it talks and stuff and it's, it's super protective. I think it's cute. Except when it tries to kill everybody. But you know, we all have our off days. Ooh, my hair's getting in it. I've been contemplating cutting my hair again. It's all Jung Young's fault from twice. Do I have any more blue left? I haven't actually seen anybody else cosplay with Dark Shadow. I mean, there definitely will be other people who've done it, but I haven't seen them, so I just went with what I thought would look good. Paper mache is like the most fun you can have with a newspaper. Like you could build all sorts of them. I always remember at school we did it where you do it round a balloon and then you burst the balloon. I think everybody's done that at school. I can't remember what the purpose of it was though, I don't know what I made out of it. Just had this balloon shaped paper mushroom thing. Balloon. Somebody commented on my video today um, and it said, I think it was something like, I love the Scottish accent, I think, good for you, that's not me.
different person who voices Dark Shadow. I've only seen like five or six episodes of the anime. Um, I've read like a hundred and odd chapters of the manga. Um, and I, all I've been doing is watching like funniest moments on YouTube of it. I will catch up eventually. It just takes effort to sit down and watch an anime. Plus I've been watching so much ER recently. Me and my mum have just been binge watching ER. It's such a good program. One of those people who's dead crafty but also hates being messy so my hands have got paint on them now and I hate it. I've also been watching funniest and best moments in them. Um, Boruto, but I've never even seen that anime. I used to be obsessed with Naruto um, and Naruto Shippuden, but I haven't seen the end of it. <laughs> I stopped when I found out that something happened to one of my favourite characters. Do you think I should just do the rest of it in black? So yeah, I probably need some good anime recommendations at the minute. I um, can't remember what the last one I watched was. Probably something like um, Gakuen Babysitters? Is that, sort of, is that what it's called? But the manga is one of my favourites. It's so cute. I want to get into all the bits, but I also don't want to press so hard that I just break it now. Ow, I'm like stabbing myself in the face with this end. So let me know if you like these kind of casual videos or if you prefer the big setups and things. I know it won't get as many views as those, but it's not great. It's kind of like a break for me as well, just doing ones like this where I can just chat to you. Sparky Sean. If you've got any suggestions on how I can attach this to my body, please let me know. It's got to be kind of sticking out the cape and stuff. Let's see what it looks like in the daylight. I don't like it. Oops, I just got it on my mic. That's okay. Just 
doesn't matter too much about the back of it really, does it? So I won't be seeing people's reactions because they'll be behind me. <laughs> me when I do my hair. blues and whites. People who make cosplays for it, like commissions must have, bleh, must have such a nice life. Like, <laughs> it's so satisfying to make something, especially if you're good at it, unlike me. I'd love to be able to make things for people for a living. I suppose I kind of do with my videos, but I mean like something physical that you made with your hands. For the big anime convention that I go to in the summer, if you join the cosplay competition, you're supposed to have like a journal of how you've made it. But I haven't taken like pictures of the progress or anything. So do you think they would just let me send them a link to this video? <laughs> the most pretentious thing. the video of how I made it but could you also watch the advert before it? Also doesn't matter that it's kind of like bobbly and stuff because that's like the texture of dark shadow as well. Probably could could have covered it in um, material as well, like some sort of fabric. on my hand. 
くねえー、いけろおっごめんなさい。Oh, <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye bye.